Well, hello there, everyone out there. It is a lovely hoster. Once again, it is Team Bri Right Now, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, what are you waiting for? But anyway, I do have social media accounts, and don't worry, I discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be an article. Now, everyone is aware by now that a Monday coming up, TV14 has returned. No more PG era. That is fine. Is dead. Hopefully. Okay. WWE Manette Raw. Is in going back to TV 14. I'm just going to say that. Was a decision made by the USA Network. Probably because the numbers were getting worse and worse and worse. And then every time McMahon panics, he brings the legends in for like a segment or two. Like I said before, you cannot keep relying on these old timers all the time to boost to boost up their ratings. Okay, so and um uh, and then I get tired of it, and I know you get tired of it, and then I think that we decided to put another hour in it. Did that help? Not really. Okay, but we asked for it. We did. Okay. The TV 14 has come back on Monday. Now we got to bring back the two hours of Raw. Three hours is not cutting it, okay? Maybe when things change, maybe, just maybe, it'd be more fun to watch. But don't hold your breath, okay? Let's see here. Yeah, it was the network of USA to change it from PG back to TV 14. Not WWE. Not McMahon. Not his family. I'm surprised because don't they own the WWE? I know it's all about sponsorships these days. So this week it was reported that Raw will be moving from PG television to TV 14. Now does that mean SmackDown will eventually happen? I'm assuming. They mentioned it last night on, on SmackDown for a brief, you know, about that. If you watch SmackDown or missed it. So you can look online and probably a lot of you don't watch SmackDown because it's Friday night, a lot of you went out with your friends, family, or whatever. Anyway, all that stuff. Now the question is, will this, will the show make a huge difference just because a different rating or will it be the same old, same old stuff every single Monday night? It better change. It better be, okay? They better because it's the same old crap. Then what's the point of having a different rating, you know? They need to be more edgier. I'm sorry. If they want to have boost the ratings. If they don't boost the ratings up, then USA Network will be very unhappy again. Okay? Okay? Now, I heard a rumor. I don't know if that's really true. The reason they kept the PG error so long because John Cena. I don't know if that's really true or untrue. You guys let me know if that's real true. When John Cena was competing full time, his matches was very fun to watch. Sometimes, when that match between him and JBL, um, Jeff and Day, I think 03, 04, it was very entertaining. And of course, blood. Now, no more blood, nothing. And does that mean TV 14? Uh, USA Network wants blood. Um, these crazy matches are we gonna get some more cuss words, and that's it. So, I was just wondering how is this gonna work out? I doubt it. The network want to bring back the brawn and panty matches because that's like a bad thing for women. Um, you know, I know it worked back in the day in the Attitude Era, and there's no sponsorships now. W has a lot of sponsorships, you know, Subway, Snickers. Everything you can get your hands on, they're doing it, you know. So, let's see how this is going to work out. And I'm not really excited. I mean, we'll find out what's going to happen, you know. We'll see. You. So, I'm not going to say, holy crap, holy crap. Uh, TV 14 is f f officially back when people went through tables. And a lot of blood, more blood and often. 
maybe, just maybe, at SummerSlam between Brock and Roman in the last man stand match, we'll get some blood in that match. If not, then it's just going to be a normal last man stand match. We'll find out what's going to happen. If Raw is going to be the first TV 14, does that mean NXT is going to do it? I think they're doing it right now. I'm not too sure. And does that mean SmackDown down going to do it? Does that mean the premium live events going to do it? You know, like pay-per-view, they're going to do it. I'm assuming they are going to do it. You know, why did it took so long for USA Network to pull the trigger and say, you know what, forget this PG bullcrap. We're going to go back to TV 14. Then we could boost the ratings up. The wrestlers could be a little more edgier. Why did it took so long? Why? It took, what, 14 years to make a move? Why? Why, why, why? Can someone actually acknowledge me in that department? I'm just wondering. Now, does that mean this is not going to be for kids? Or maybe the first few minutes is going to be for kids in the, the last... Two hours and a half are going to be for adults. Is this going to be the whole entire show for adults? Does that mean no kids can be allowed to go to their live events anymore? I'm so confused. So I'm glad this is back. But we'll see what's going to happen on Monday. If there's any major changes, probably not. Probably just a couple of cuss words and maybe some blood. But that's all I'm thinking of. I don't think there will be the ones to lose sponsorships. Have a good one now. Find me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be part of the Rob Show, double click or DM me. And everyone out there, have a good one. And don't forget to subscribe on this YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Later. Take care.